The Ford Motor Company's Model T was the first attempt to create a car that the majority of people could actually afford. It was sold from 1908 through 1927. Carl Benz created the first modern automobile in Germany in 1885, while Charles and Frank Durier created the first automobile in the United States in Springfield, Massachusetts, in 1893. However, the fact that they were available didn't mean that just anybody could afford them, since the Model T was actually affordable. Affordable, it at one point was owned by the majority of Americans. It significantly aided rural Americans in their efforts to connect with the rest of the nation and contributed to the development of the numbered highway system. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the very old but not forgotten Ford Model T. The Ford Model T is widely recognized as the first car that was affordable for middle-class Americans, and it holds a significant place in social and technological history. In addition to enabling widespread affordable transportation, it had an impact on cutting-edge production management practices. Henry Ford worked as the head engineer for the Detroit-based Edison Illuminating Company during the day, but at night he toiled over the development of a gasoline engine. On Christmas Eve 1893, while his wife Clara was taking a break from preparing the holiday meal, he successfully tested one. The engine ran for 30 seconds, which was enough time for Ford to ascertain that he was heading in the right direction. Ford went on to create the self-propelled quadricycle three years later, on June 16, 1903, the Ford Motor Company was established following the failure of two business endeavors. Ford developed a number of components for the Model T throughout the course of eight different automobile models before successfully building the Model T. The Model T was produced in Detroit and Highland Park, Michigan, in excess of 15 million units. Due to assembly line manufacturing, the cost of the touring car variant was reduced from $850 in 1908 about 18 months on an average wage, to less than $300 in 1925, which was the equivalent of about four months' salary for an average citizen. At such pricing, the Model T occasionally made up as much as 40% of all automobiles sold in the United States. The Model T, often known as the Tin Lizzie or the Fliver, did well to achieve Harry Ford's goal of democratizing the automobile before it fell out of favor in favor of bigger, more powerful, and more or luxurious automobiles. The three different body types of the Model T were available, a two-seat roundabout, a five-seat touring car, and a seven-seat town car. On a standard chassis with a 100-inch wheelbase, all bodywork was mounted. Although the car was initially offered in a variety of colors, from 1913 through 1925, it was only mass-produced in the color black. All four cylinders were cast in a single block, making the engine straightforward to maintain and repair. The cylinder head was also removable. The car's engine produced 20 horsepower and had a moderate top speed of 40 to 45 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 65 to 70 kilometers per hour. The majority of models had hand cranks that turned magnetos attached to the flywheel to start the engine, but starting in 1919, certain versions also included battery-powered starters. The car had a planetary-type transmission with two forward gears and one backward. It was operated by three foot pedals and a lever rather than a more typical hand lever using the sliding gear transmissions. A hand lever on the steering column was used to control the spark and throttle. Under the front seat was the 10-gallon gasoline tank. The Model T frequently needed to be pushed up a steep hill backwards because gas Gasoline could only be pumped into the engine by gravity and because the reverse gear supplied more power than the forward gears. These flaws, together with the Model T's unattractive appearance, uncomfortable ride at high speeds, and constant rattling, led to a great deal of appreciative humor and many jokes, songs, poems, and stories. Its ground clearance allowed it to travel off-road, and its build of light yet durable Vandium alloy steel. This made it a versatile working vehicle because it had an engine that could power farm equipment. Ford did not differentiate the Model T by model year for its entire production life. Instead, it was assigned a single letter. But enough major changes to the body occurred throughout its time that the automobile may now be divided into many style generations. Although countless other alterations were made to the car, the hood and cowl sections were the most immediately noticeable and recognizable improvements. 
The Model T's body had a virtually straight, five-sided hood from 1909 to 1914. A flat top contained the central hinge, and two side-sloping parts contained the folding hinges. From the windscreen down, the firewall is flat and lacks a cowl. Because the acetylene gas flame is wind and rain resistant, it was used for three years as headlights. The acetylene flame light was reflected by thick concave mirrors and magnifying glasses. The fuel tank was placed under the front seat. The hood design was altered from 1917 to 1923 to a tapering style with a curved top. The folding hinges were now located at the joint between the flat sides and the curved top. To distinguish it from the later hoods, this was often referred to as the low hood. No longer was any portion of the flat firewall visible outside of the hood because the back edge of the hood now reached the front edge of the cowl panel. Approximately half of all Model Ts were of this design, which was utilized for the longest period of time and during the years of greatest production. This design modification had the biggest impact on the car's appearance in 1926. The hood was once again extended, and the cowl panel was changed so that it was much less of a compound curve and more closely matched the hood's line. Additionally, there was a large increase in the separation between the windshield and the firewall. The high hood is another name for this fashion trend. The style of the previous generation served as a precursor for the styling of the Model A that followed. But the two models are visually very dissimilar due to the A's broader body and its curving doors as opposed to the T's flat doors. For a very long period, the Ford Model T set a record for mass production with a run of over 15 million units. Only the Volkswagen Beetle, which sold over 21 units, managed to surpass it. The original Beetle was produced from 1938 to 2003, a 65-year manufacturing run compared to the Model T's 19-year production period. Hence, VW took a lot longer to reach these numbers. As a result, the Ford Vehicle T continues to be the model that has produced the most units per year. By 1918, Model Ts made up 50% of all American automobiles. The Highland Park facility of Ford's revolution in manufacturing made the production explosion possible. Few automobiles a day were produced in the early years of the Ford Motor Company by groups of two or three men. But Henry Ford took an early and significant stab at what is now known as the mass production method by embracing new management ideas. Ford's initiatives drew inspiration from the managerial strategy championed by American engineer Frederick Winslow Taylor. He proposed that the production process should be broken down into the most straightforward tasks that workers could carry out in the most productive way. A two-seater Ford Model T, the runabout version, would have initially cost roughly $825 in 1909, which is equivalent to close to $25,000 in 2021. The cost grew slightly to $900 in 1910, which is roughly equivalent to nearly $26,000 in 2021. But the Model T's production efficiency increased as the mass production technique was implemented. A decrease in production hours led to a decrease in cost. Over the coming decades, the cost of the Model T rapidly decreased, reaching a low of $260 for a two-seater in 1925, approximately $4 in 2021. Up until 1927, the Model T was still in production, but by then, larger, more luxurious vehicles were on the market. But by that time, it was well-established in American legend, nicknamed the Tin Lizzie. What do you think about this vintage automobile? Let us know in the comment section below.